Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines where we had to deal with the uh, Finnbloods over, over here in the last episode um, and brought that little... Oh, she's not a girl, she's she's a Fogon woman but we brought her back into the fold there and they seem to be happier. Anyway, some of you may have noticed that we're playing kind of a role-playing and action game and we have seen lots of, you know, talking, role play and stuff like that, but we haven't really seen much combat yet, you know, after we left that, that, uh, that's purely, that, that, that tutorial behind, we haven't really been and um, fought many people, I think, since that we fought that one doctor with a severed arm, uh, what, what's his name, Gimbo, and that was about it, so, you may think, you know, now we're in a combat area, now, we can finally go and do combat again, but uh, I don't mean to disappoint, but I'll probably not do combat, I mean, because there's a pretty elegant way to solve this particular situation here, by just removing the fence over here, and sneak, sneak around that guy, but now we need to get inside this building, which, as you can see, has lots of lights. I don't mean to interrupt their discussion in there, but... What the? Dude, who turned off the power? I was just about to unlock Shang Fix the Long. lights, damn it! You turn on the power, Fix bitch! Fix the lights, Get Al. the lights or I'll shove yeah. that control up your ass, Al. Uh, all right, man. Shit. I'd also like to feed on that guy, if possible. No, we don't think you should necessarily kill him. Because being fed on also stuns him for a bit of time. So, we need the boom boom. The boom boom is right here. Then there's another thing right here, which Mercurio might also want back, his money. Hey, stop right here. Uh, God damn it, man. I didn't know how long that guy would be stunned. Apparently not not long enough for what I want to do. That's a shame. What the dude, who turned off the power? I was just about to unlock Shen Fix Long. the lights, damn it. You turn on the power, Fix bitch. Fix the lights. Get Al. the lights or I'll shove yeah. that control up your ass. Al. Al. All right, man. Shit. Well, apparently we're, we are going to kill that one guy here that was sent to turn the light switch back on. gonna leave this time without being stopped by that guy he was sent to turn on the light switch then got disrupted and then decided to head back in instead of looking after the light switch well I think that guy in the front shouldn't be an issue but well, 
Oh, he's not. Okay. Alright. So much about the tense part of this episode. <laughs> uh, well. Almost went off without a hitch. Almost. E evening. Evening. Um, I kind of need the money I gave you. All right. I thought you might have had said something more interesting to to, to to tell me now, but apparently, as I did ask him about the money, I can't sell him things at the same time. Shame. I wanted to rip him off even further, but at least I get to keep my blood. That's not too bad, at least. Anyway. Dried corpse in the oven with peppers and fur. Yeah, get right on that, voices. I'll get right on that. By the time we're through with this, we'll all probably have gone crazy from just random ramblings of a mad person. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's give, let's give Mercurio the boom boom back and his money. Hey, mate. Wake up, sleepy dead. Uh, Got the boom boom. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Mm, no, only that one guy. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Uh, yeah. Here's a gold, Mercury. Ah, uh, your lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. Alright. Where do my feet lead me next? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. <laughs> Alright. Uh... It tells me where is the warehouse of wares. Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. The worm hides in turbid liquids. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Alright, where's the doctor out of Janus? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Alright, what can you tell me about the doctor out of Janus? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Alright, I need you to paint me a picture. Who exactly? Janus's white daughter. Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. What whispers? Alright. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. All right. Who exactly? Uh, I'm no longer here. All right. Let's also go back to our apartment and check if uh, our um extortion money from the doctor is already there. And speaking of extortions, uh, I'd like to talk to that guy again now. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. What time is it? See nothing. Uh, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Well, fortune smiles on you. You will share your rewards now. Uh, sure. I guess I could spare a few dollars. Uh, here you are. Uh, 
Good luck getting back on your feet. Well, I'll take a timepiece as well. My watch. It's a quantum limited edition. Only 50 made in the world. Quite irreplaceable. It was an anniversary present for my wife. Well, consider the mortgage on your mortality. Yes, well, um, here. Pocket of dignity is better than nothing. Alright, I think we told that guy to not put it in here so he doesn't know where we live exactly, but to put it behind the plant. Right, there's a spare key. Weird. Let's also check our mail since we're here. Uh, a favor. It's come to our attention that a sample of werewolf blood has made it into the hands of the local tabloid and that they have sent it on to the clinic in Santa Monica for testing. The responsible party has been dealt with, most painfully I can assure you, but for obvious reasons we can't have anyone testing the blood. Please retrieve the blood sample from the clinic and leave it in your mailbox. You'll be compensated accordingly. Okay. Whatever you wish. Chester Prince. I thought that one guy was supposed to leave money here. Hmm. Weird. It's definitely not here. Was there another plan somewhere around here? I don't think there was. All right, let's go and get that werewolf blood, since it sounds like it's a little bit more urgent than the than calling off the feud. So let's get in here. We haven't been in the upper floor of the hospital yet, because well, we wouldn't have had any, we wouldn't have had much reason to be there. Now we do though. So let's take a look around. There's a guard, great. All right, let's try and get through it without alerting the guard. Technically, we could also turn invisible and all, but maybe we can do it in our real ninja like by jumping on that box. Apparently, we don't need to jump on that box. Just making a hell of noise here. Okay. Apparently, that room has a camera too. So we might also be looking at disabling cameras while we're at it. There's a camera here as well. There's no camera here. But there's a computer maybe controlling those cameras. So controlled substances door, let's unlock those. Also take a look at the cabinet. Controlled substances camera enabled for your security. Mm. Not particularly happy about those. I can't seem to disable them from here. Maybe we need to take care of them another way. Alright, now where's the guard? There's a main 
maintenance. The stairwell. Isn't, isn't the stairs where we just came in from? Let's wait until the guard is passed. So that's where the controlled substance is, but we still have a camera online somewhere. Descriptions, bathroom. Is that camera still rolling? Let's see if we can find somewhere to disable those cameras. Then we need to go in here later. There's one more door here, security. And the break room. Maybe we can disable the cameras from here. That's a maintenance room key. I don't think we need that key yet this point so far we have been pretty we have been doing well enough without any keys so camera one so controlled substances camera is disabled but for security purposes all other cameras have automatically been enabled Description storage camera disabled for security purposes. All other cameras have automatically been enabled. Wait. This is just plain crazy. Jeez, just my luck that he decides to head my direction. I can't walk past it because I'd, I'd hit him and uh, the moment I hit him I become visible and then you know. So let's just lurk about, the timer won't, won't go on and all. But Jesus, could, could he have chosen a more unhelpful moment to just come back, come here? Would you mind moving a freaking ass? Thank you. camera appears to be offline, but I'm not 100% sure. Ugh. Now I need blood buff too. Fuck. Well, there's a drop box, some prescription bottles. I'm just gonna take everything. That was way too difficult to, to leave empty handed here. We are gonna take a sip of a blood pack now. Because we might still need some blood to get out of here and we haven't still gotten what we came for here for originally. God man. Cameras appears to be still enabled. So I need to head back to the terminal and now disable camera one. Oh, fuck. I need 
to wait until he's moved away. Ugh, stealth. Making things needlessly overcomplicated. So, controlled substances is not disabled. Nothing to see here, sir. Sir? <laughs> Fuck you, mate. Ugh, that guy, man. Could you please go? Thank you. So that camera's off now, right? So that's werewolf blood. waste another blood point on using obfuscate another time so I'll just wait until he <laughs> moved somewhere and then just discreetly follow him <laughs> now he moves over there and I can move through the entrance on the left <laughs> god damn it man Alright, but we did manage to do what we set out to do. But bloody hell, that took probably like five minutes more than it has any right to. But we had all cameras disabled, that guy wasn't harmed in the slightest, you know? So... Um, well... So the prince told us to put the um, to put the blood in our in our box. So we'll do that. Did now some money appear here? Doesn't look like it. But we got a Masquerade Redemption for handling that, you know, ninja-like. Anyway, I think we can also pay another visit to Trip. Uh, maybe sell him some prescription bottles. No, we might we might feel bad about uh, taking medicine out of a hospital, but um, we're a vampire, you know. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Uh, yo, I got a surprise box from the House of Healing. Uh, really? Well, let me see what you got. Wanted something else, but I brought you some hard stuff. Now, to make everything cheaper. Nice pants, dude. Uh. So, we're gonna sell him the tire iron. Don't think I'm ever gonna use it. Uh. It only has feet adjustment one at this point, so maybe it's actually one of our better weapons right now. I am gonna sell him the pistol though. The fun thing is, we're not if if, if I sell him the pistol and I don't give him the ammo, so the ammo can continue to remain in our inventory. And if we pick up another pistol, then we can just um 
use it with the ammo that we still have. Death. Also, we got this fancy watch. Don't ask where that came from. Just, just do not. Stop doing that. Uh, and those pill bottles. Mother, shut up. Alright. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna keep it. We might have a need for it soon enough. And we are just at the correct range. No, we're not. We're at three. But if we use all specs, we should be at the correct. At the, at the, at the correct level, so we could even use it properly. All right, now we wanted to go to the club to... What the hell is this note? We're moving. Seymour's Coffee Shop is moving into a new location on the main boulevard in Hollywood. Dear customers, please visit us there soon. Let's see. Oh, I wasn't looking for coffee. So let's enter the club. I'll try 80 proof tears for you. Goodbye.
before we go upstairs though, I think there's one thing we might want to do up, up here. If I remember correctly, that is. Sheesh, is this place always so dead? Death is only a sweet beginning, my lovely. Ooh, that was an interesting thing to say. What are you, some kind of barroom philosopher? You're just trying to pick me up. Well, the blood bank certainly holds a different illusion, my lovely. Really? Well, that's just a little too creepy for me. Well, perhaps I misjudged your worldly manner. Hmm. I guess I'm going to the blood bank then. I had enough of this place anyway. Alright. We were looking for another um, <coughs> blood donor for uh, the blood bank, so we did that. Uh, whatever his name was should be should be happy about it. Anyway, let's head upstairs. Close it. Well, after we already had an interesting discussion with um, Jeanette, we're now gonna meet her, well, other half. What the hell happened to the door? We're gonna meet her other half, Therese. Um, but we'll see that next time. Your city? Last time I went to the Rome's of the Reaper. Not that bit. Oh, God. I can't even look at you sometimes. Yes, Isabel. Oh, Therese. You really seem kind of flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but the same. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted house. Concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling it just Rustling you? robes of the yeah. Reaper. You like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Well, seems like uh, an interesting discussion was already going on, but uh, let's join into that discussion next time. Have a good one.